we're actually going to try to ride together today. We're riding together. <laughs> we we're going to ride our bikes. We got lost the last couple days, but today yeah. it's going to happen. Today's the day. No crashies, no whammies, no flatties. No. Who psyched up to ride bicycles? <laughs> it's really fun to start your day with just thousands of people who are all in the same boat, the biking boat. It's not a race vibe, because race vibes, people are kind of competitive and nervous, and this is just straight joy. I hear these are the award-winning cinnamon rolls. They are. They won first place at the fair. Nice. Which fair? The Iowa State Fair. What makes them so good? Uh, it's a secret recipe. Mmm. It's a pretty darn good cinnamon roll. You want some, Mom? I have a little bite. We are now coming into the town of Cumming. C-U-M-M-I-N-G. And yes, they celebrate it. They love to come here. Tom, Dick, and Harry were their names. I am her only boyfriend. Each of them would boast. But she passed on Tom and Harry because she liked Dick the most. Now she's got Dick in the palm of her hand. She likes to hold Dick. She likes to squeeze Dick. She likes to kiss Dick all of the time. All oh, seems like Dick is always on her mind. They serve mostly meat at these lunch stops. A lot of bacon, a lot of pork chops. But there is one place that has a salad bar for a vegetarian like me. The money goes to Climb for Haiti, which is a nonprofit organization, and 100% of our profits go down to help uh, probably 20 some families that we've been working with for the last five years, and, and um, the money helps pay for education. That's what we're here at Rag Ray to spread the message that there's hope in the world and there are things that we can do outside of ourselves um, to make this world a better place. And in the meantime, you get some vegetables and vitamins on the route. So, are people loving it? People are loving the salad bar. I almost feel like we provide a service here more than we provide a sale um, because people come and they say, oh, it's a fresh vegetable, I need the vitamins. And so, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. What'd you find, Mom? I found liquid vegetables, Ryan. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Otherwise known as a Bloody Mary. Yep, yep, pretty happy. Look at it, it's Luke! What's up, bud? Not much, bud, just enjoying the ride. Enjoying yeah. the ride. <laughs> Let me tell you about my friend Luke. I met him for the first time last year on Ragbri, and he told me all about how cycling essentially saved his life because he lost so much weight. Something was going on with my heart, and the doctor told me, he was like, listen, if hey, you're done, and I was like, what do you mean I'm done? And he said, you got, you got two choices. You're either going to change your ways or you're going to die very young. I was 544 pounds. I ended up giving him one of my old bikes, a Trek 920, and this is the first time seeing my boy Luke since last year's rag ride. How's the bike treating you? Well, I gotta tell you, it's really nice to not constantly have to worry that something's gonna explode underneath me. <laughs> By this time last year, I got to the point where if, if some bang or pop had happened, I immediately was like, that's a spoke! I know that's a spoke! The doc's like blown away. He's like, I can't believe how good you're doing. He's, the, is, the thing is, is that you just have to find something that you love so much that it can replace the desire to fill the void with things you shouldn't be doing like eating pastries or overeating or truthfully just sitting around on a couch. And so cycling is my new obsession. And it helps when your obsession is fulfilled by something that, you know, honestly is amazing. People talk to me all the time about it. I, I'd be riding around in my, in my own community. People stop me and they're like, that's kind of a far out bike, man. And I got to tell them the story. And then, you know, on Ragbri, it's almost like more recognition than I've ever known in my life. And I mean, I was, a, I was pretty much the biggest, fattest guy in my town at one point. So I'm kind of used to people staring at me. But people come to me all the time, they're like, hey, I saw you in the video. I really think it's excellent that you're out here. I had three people yesterday come up to me, one with cancer and two with heart conditions, and tell me that I'm the reason they're out here. And I gotta tell you, it's just, it's unreal how amazing this whole thing is. But for me personally, just to not have to fear 
then I'm going to blow my entire budget constantly having to get some crummy bike fixed. I mean, it's it's amazing. And I'm telling you, man, it's a dream come true. Thank you so much. Uh, dude, you're connected. We're connected for life. Well, I'm constantly going to be riding Doozer's bike. <laughs> no, it's your bike now, man. It's your bike. You must always stop at a slip and slide. Thank you, thank you. My name is Uriah Stefan. I'm from uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Here with a uh, group from church, riding Ragbri this year. First time doing this and I am absolutely loving it. I am a left below the knee amputee. Uh, 2012, I was riding my bicycle to work and got hit head on by a truck. A gentleman went to pass in their vehicle, didn't see me, and uh, openly admits to doing about 60 to 65 miles an hour. I was doing about 25 the other direction. It's a busy stretch of road. Um, spent the next year and a half in and out of hospitals, in and out of surgeries, had 15 surgeries total, um, before I would finally heal up, before the doctors would release me to start with a prosthesis. Uh, over the next two years after that, I learned to walk again, learned to start lifting again, and training. Uh, all I wanted to do was get back on my bike. Ultimately, the, the goal is to join Team USA for 2024 and 2028 Paralympics, hopefully, and uh, sprint triathlon. So. We'll see how it goes. Current, currently, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an amputee life coach. Um, so my advice to you is find a goal, find something you want to do, focus on it, stick to it, and do not give up. Every day is a new opportunity to find joy and find happiness in everything that you do. You got to dig deep some days, because some days it's hard. Get off the bike and try this out. I'd like to give a high five to my cameraman, Alon. Yeah. Thank you so much. Are you gonna do it? I'm, I think I'm gonna do I it. I think it's you really gotta scary. do it. It's scary, but you gotta do it. It's a good way to wash your clothes. Yeah. This shirt needed a good washing. Oh, that feels awesome. Come do this, everybody! It's good for your soul! Nice job! Are you making any enemies with your Packers? Uh, you know? Well, not yet. Oh, there was a bear guy just well, went by. That's all right. We haven't had any real insults. Just. Go Packer, mostly. Whenever you see a sign for Amish baked goods, you really should stop, even if you're full, because the Amish make some of the best food along the route here on Ragbri, and their pie and ice cream is just epic. Hot out of the oven. You have a personal favorite? Well, rhubarb right now. Why do I say that? Rhubarb is in front of me. I like whatever pie I see, right? <laughs> Ice cream on top. You know, along the route, you can get some church lady pie, and it can be hit or miss. You know, sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you don't. The Amish one, you always get a solid piece of pie. I went with the rhubarb pie today. Mmm. It's so good. It's warm and soft and just perfect. Not too sweet. Riding on a cruiser bike. Riding, dressed like a hula girl, riding it on a cruiser bike, yep. How many gears do you have? Three. The bike weighs 42 pounds, not counting my basket. How you doing? Doing great. You skating the whole thing? I'm skating the whole thing. It's been a lot of fun so far. Is it hard? It's, I mean, it's tough, but I figure skating or doing any kind of 
Self-propelled motion across the state's gonna be tough. And when we're gone from here, our friends will be drinking all our beer. Those darn friends. <laughs> I'm at the ambulance, but not for bad reasons, for very good reasons. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh my gosh. Look at all these goodies. Beans and tortillas. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Bobos. From, Bobos from Boulder. Boulder. My wife and son are going to ride Friday, Saturday. Yeah. So I wanted them to get the flavor. We work it every year. Yeah. Of rag rice. So we're watching. Uh, yeah, the videos. Watching the videos. And you, you, you go to Ragbri on YouTube, and the first, third, and seventh one is Team Doozer <laughs> and Love Cycles. Uh, but when you gave him the bike this fall, yeah, that's the kind of people we want to run with. Uh, and dude, you just gave it to him. I did. And that bike's worth quite a bit much. So we can't replace that, but, uh, we, but we can give you Team Doozer an ice cream phone. We want to support your Ragbri ice cream endeavors. <laughs> and so we all pitched in and and this is your, your rag bray ice cream. Oh my God, you are so sweet. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, they got everything I love. They got the beans, they got the Snickers. This oh. is a big ass box of stuff, but I'm gonna try to fit as much of it in my bags as I can, Grant. <laughs> and there Grant goes off to save somebody's life. What a great guy. I can't believe that he, he watched my video about Luke Got inspired and put together a care package for me of all my favorite things. Man, Ragbri really brings together some some beautiful people, and yeah, that guy's the hero. He's the one that's saving saving lives every day. I'm Joel Snore, and uh, I live in North Carolina. My brother Barry did Ragbri last year, and enjoyed it so much that he talked me into joining him this year. I, 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 I'm not a biker. I, 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 I never biked seriously until November this past year. And, and uh, Barry, Barry, Barry has been coaching me. Uh, we, we, we got together six times, I think, for longer and longer rides. We, we started with a, a, a 20 miler, then 30, 40, 50, 60. And I remember the, at, at the end of the, the 20 mile, I was dying, and, and uh, I, 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 I knew it, it wasn't, what, what, what wasn't for me. But, but, but he persuaded me to keep, keep, keep trying, and uh, three, four, three, four, four, three or four weeks later, we did the, the 30, and that was easy. Well, not easy, but, but it, it, it was easier, and and. And then 40 was great, and then 50, 50, 50, 60 worked, it worked, and uh, the, the, the rest is history. So you're the one that convinced him to do this? Yeah, he convinced me to ride again this year. I had a great time last year, first time riding it. And how's it been riding with your brother? It's wonderful. Yeah. It's a, you know, this is an experience we haven't had for, you know, obviously we grew up together, but um, you know, we live in different places now. We have different lives, but to, to take a week off work and spend a week with my brother. And our sister, who's actually driving the sag wagon, so that's nice. But um, I think the three of us haven't been in the state of Iowa for 30 years together. So I'm, I wasn't sure that Iowa was ready for us, but I, I think we're we're doing all right. What were some of the challenges? Um, balance with with Park Parkinson's. Um, ba balance is one of, one of my issues. Um, walking or riding, but. Uh, Started so, starting and stopping, especially um, get, 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 getting by going from zero to something, and and uh, coming, coming, coming to a stop. Um, but if if if, if 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 my feet don't get planted on the ground right, right away, I'm, I'm in trouble. And how do you feel doing this? You know, you're four days into this. How, how do you feel? It, it, it's it, it's a rush for me. And, and uh, the, the, the benefits of, of, of cycling are becoming pretty well documented for Parkinson's. And, and uh, the, um, 
repetition, repetition of the pedaling and, and, the, and the intense cardio uh, is, is, is great. It, it, it doesn't cure the disease, but, but, it, but it slows down the progression. And, and uh, there, there's kind of a feeling of euphoria. I, I, I think you need, need, need to wake up each morning and, and seize the day. You get the most, most, most of it you can. And, uh, and love, love, love everybody. everybody.